Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ali. Welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I showed you everything that I got for Christmas from my friends and family and my boyfriend. I'm so incredibly grateful. Today, I wanted to show you what I got everyone else for Christmas. So this includes my parents, my sister-in-law, both of my brothers, my boyfriend, and then my boyfriend's whole family. This video is really exciting for me because I've been really fortunate and blessed with the job that I have. It's Obviously not YouTube for obvious reasons, I just started. I'm a product manager for a pretty big company and it's just helped me to be able to kind of spoil my family and get gifts that I feel like are really tailored towards the individual that I got them for. And that's something that I love to do. I love to splurge on my friends and family and give back because I feel like I have the best friends and family in the entire world. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. If we have the opportunity to spoil the people that we love, then we should. And obviously you don't need to buy things for people to spoil them. You can spoil them with love and time and all of those things. This Christmas, I just wanted to give everyone something that I thought that they would actually love. So let's jump into it. I have almost everything in front of me right now that I actually gave to people. <laughs> I asked them to give it back to me for this video just so I could show everybody. But for all of Josh's family, I'm going to show pictures because they are in a whole different state. So I couldn't really get those items. So I will start off with what I got for my parents. I'll start off with my dad. So my dad is very into wine and I feel like my dad has everything. He's one of those dads where you never know what to get him because he could always buy some himself so with him I always try to go the more creative route and get something that he wouldn't buy himself so I found this on Crate and Barrel and basically it's a wine aerator oh. it looks like this it's sitting in this little thing right now but basically this elongates for however long your bottle of wine is. You stick this in here, stick this in the bottle of wine, and then once it's securely in the wine, you press this button, you can kinda hear it, and it sucks the wine up, aerates it in this little thing, and then spouts it out perfectly into your wine glass, and it doesn't drip. Like, as soon as you let go of the button, it just stops, and it doesn't drip whatsoever. So, I was, Nervous you might not like it because of the way it poured. I don't know, I just kind of took a risk on this one, but he absolutely loves it. We all love it. It's actually, I think it's battery powered, so it's just really easy to use and like a fun wine gadget that I feel like you wouldn't buy yourself, so that's what I got my dad. For my mom, I kind of went gadgets this year. So we have an ongoing joke with my mom that she always leaves her cup of coffee in the microwave because she'll only drink like a quarter of it or a half of a half of it and then she'll put it in the microwave and then she'll leave it in there because she forgot she put it in the microwave and as a kid I used to take pictures of it and like have an album on my phone of the amount of time she left it in the microwave so I found this online and it's called an ember and it's a mug that you pour the liquid in coffee whatever and it keeps it at whatever temperature you want so I think the standard temperature is like 135 degrees or 130 I don't know it has a standard temperature that's I think what most people like their beverages at anyway. And as soon as you pour the liquid in, it just maintains it at that temperature, like for as long as you want. And I was a little nervous because I don't know, with gadgets, you just don't know if people are gonna use them. And my whole family wants them now. So my mom absolutely loved it. And you can customize the color. I made it purple because she loves purple. And you kind of like set everything up on the app that it has. It comes with this little charger. So you just plug it in and then you just stick the mug on there when you want to charge it and you just wash it out whenever. It's like very easy. My whole family's been using it, so I was really happy with this one. She loved it. Moving on, I'll go for what I got my brother's wife, my sister-in-law, Ariana. So she loves like makeup and skincare. Same stuff as me, so. I was doing some Christmas shopping online. I was looking for a gift for my brother's wife. And so she like loves makeup and is super girly and stuff like that. So I go on Google and I just typed in gifts for girly girls. And this is the first thing that popped up. A pink casket from Walmart. First of all, 
I didn't even know Walmart sold caskets. Second of all, why is this on the search for gifts for girly girls? Yeah, 27 reviews, five stars. What? I got her a few things from Jaclyn Cosmetic. Um, the first thing is this, I'll put the, what it actually is here, but it's the oil face primer. And she has sensitive skin, so I was like, I don't know, but when Jaclyn Hill was talking about this in one of her videos, she was saying like, if you're gonna buy any product from my site, buy this, it's so good. Ariana loves trying any kind of new makeup or skincare or whatever, so I thought this would be perfect for her to try, and she loves it. I haven't tried it, but I remember she walked down one morning, and I was like, your makeup looks amazing, and she was like, I use the primer, so. I also got her from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics this Rouge Romance. It's like a blush palette. She doesn't really do like eye makeup, but she loves her face makeup. So I thought this could be cool because I feel like these are just beautiful blushes. And then the last thing, I got her this Vanity Planet facial steamer. I don't know. I just saw this and I was like, this could be cool to use and open up the pores. It's just kind of one of those things like you're not gonna usually buy yourself. Could be fun to use and incorporate into your skincare routine. I don't know, I don't know. So next I will show what I got for my brothers. For my brother Tim, he wears these headphones that are from like Amazon, not shaming that whatsoever but I wanted to get him some really nice headphones. He loves washing cars and just kind of doing stuff where he has headphones in a lot so I got him these Beats. They're the Beats Pro or I don't know I'll I'll tell you what they are here but they're wireless and they just charge in this little case right here Bluetooth everything so got him those and he's really excited about them and then for my brother Greg my family is like really into gaming by my family I mean me my brother Tim my brother Greg we always would play like on our Game Boys as kids especially like Pokemon and all that like really exposing myself here because <laughs> not many people know this about me but I absolutely love those games especially my brother Greg he's like a huge gamer so my brother Tim me and my brother's wife Ariana we all kind of put our money together and we got him a Nintendo Switch these things are like impossible to find these days especially kind of just the normal Switch they're always sold out because honestly, I think it's like one of the best gaming consoles and this is coming from a complete non-expert. Like I don't play that much, but I have a Switch myself and I love it because it's a whole gaming console in one, in one little guy, one like travel thing and it's honestly amazing. So he was absolutely blown away when we gave this to him. He wasn't expecting it at all, which just kind of, you know, that just makes it so much fun when everyone's really excited. So got him this we will be playing pokemon together to expose myself again because i've almost finished my pokedex for the pokemon shield and i just need a few more pokemon that come from the sword game so if anyone out there has you know some sword specific pokemon let me know we can do some trading <laughs> Now I'm going to show you what I got my boyfriend for Christmas. Got him a few things and then a big gift. The first thing I'll show is I got him these Donald Duck socks from Rock'em Socks. They're like these long... Okay, so now they're exposing. My boyfriend may or may not be a Disney adult. And by that, I mean he, he just really loves Disney. And I'm... I'm just... I'm, I'm starting to figure out... Starting to learn and understand... Anyway, he loves Donald Duck. That's his favorite. So I got him these. One time I called Donald Duck Daffy Duck. It wasn't good. So that's Donald Duck. And I got him those socks and he loved them. And then one more Disney thing. I saw these at Williams Sonoma. It's these Mickey and Friends impression cookie set. So it's just kind of like cookie molds or cookie cutters and has all like the Disney people and I just thought it was cute and he loves it he oh and it comes with like icing bags and stuff but yeah he thought it was awesome so you know gotta get people gifts that they want you know and then another thing so him and I are really into those like kind of couple games where you like get to know each other I know it sounds weird the games like 
the best friends game. I kind of talked about that in one video and the we're not really strangers game where it just kind of like prompts you with questions that you kind of wouldn't normally ask your significant other. So yeah, so I got, I found this at Urban Outfitters and it's called Let's Get Deep. And it has questions like, do you sing in the shower? Like, what's your go-to snack at the movies? Has like icebreaker, deep, and then deeper. The deeper is like, what's something embarrassing you do when no one's home? What's something you're weirdly good at? Things like that. So I got him that and we played it and it's actually really fun. It's just fun to like, just kind of conversation topics. We were doing it and <laughs> he asked me this one question about like, have you ever gotten expelled from school? Which I haven't, but I have a whole story that if you're my friend and you're watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I wasn't expelled from school. I was like very, very followed the rules and everything, but I have a whole story that was prompted by that question that I would have never really thought to tell him. and. It was great. So yeah, sometimes it just spurs up like good stories, even if it's not exactly the answer to the question. So, and then the next thing I got him is he has a dog named Belle and I found this online where you can customize like a search and find book, kind of like Where's Waldo with their dog on it. So I'll insert a picture here of Belle with the book. I took a picture of her with it and it's actually really fun and it's good. Like it was, it's hard. We were doing just the first page together. It was this one. It's hard and I'll show you where Belle is in the first one. You can see, oh my god. I don't know if you can see any of this, but she's in there. And this is cool, it's just, I love like customized things that make it personal. I got this for him for Christmas and he loves it. He loves all the customized things. And then last gift, big gift for him. So he is someone who won't buy nice things for himself and whenever I'm like, oh, that's like trendy or fashionable or cool, he's like, no, I like my Walmart like wallet and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, you are just impossible. And I wanna like do something nice for you. So I got him Yeezys and I didn't just get him regular Yeezys. I got him Yeezys, the reflective kind in black. So if you know anything about Yeezys, you know that this is like one of the hardest ones to come by or kind of the most rare, like the all reflective ones. So what that means is, I'll kind of show the whole shoe. I really don't know if you can see any of this, but the whole shoe is like reflective. Anyway, I couldn't really show what it looks like, but yeah, it's these and they're black. So yeah, so I got him these and it's funny because a few years ago I got my dad Yeezys for Christmas in black and we were in his closet because my boyfriend got him my dad golf shoes for Christmas and we were just double checking on his size. My dad and Josh are the same size. He tried on the Yeezys while he was in there and he was like, yeah, I don't know. Like they kind of make my feet look wide, blah, blah, blah. And I had already bought them for him. And I was like, I know he's saying this because he thinks he'll never get them and he'll never buy them for himself. So I was like, and when he opened them, he was like, that's exactly why I said that because I didn't want to like think that they were cool and then know that I'll never get them. So it was really cool to surprise him with these. He was so excited. The last thing that I want to share is what I got for my boyfriend's family. So I got his mom and dad a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I'll show it on the screen. It has like Mickey and Minnie kissing. Cause like I said, the kind of their whole family like loves Disney. So I thought that would be cute. And it kind of goes with their aesthetic. It's like grays and blacks and all of that, which is, it's really, really pretty. And then for his sister, Amanda, I got her Skims, of course. If you have not, never tried the Skims Cozy Collection, run, go get it. It is the most incredible material you'll ever feel in your life. You will not regret it. So I got her this black kind of pullover. I'll show it on the screen here and matching fuzzy socks to go with it. And she seemed to love it. So I, I mean, I don't think anyone's not going to like it. Even if like, you don't think it's cute. If it's like, uh, if it's, and it's not ugly, but even if you did, like you're going to like it. It's so good. And then lastly for Matthew, Josh's brother, he is one of the coolest people I've ever met in my life. He styles for a lot of people and he's very into fashion and design and things like that. And one of his favorite brands is YSL. So I got him this YSL like coffee cup. <laughs> which seems weird, but it's more for decoration. It's like a ceramic coffee cup with it on the side. I also put, I picked out these like Colombian bean espresso pods or something like that from Nespresso. And I put that with it. And when he opened it, I said, thank you for always letting me drink your coffee. Cause every time I visit, 
I like, I never drink coffee, but I'll always drink his Nespresso pods and like make myself lattes. So I thought it would be cute to kind of get him this like designer cup that you obviously aren't going to use to drink coffee, but like, and then have the pods with it. So that's what I got everyone for Christmas. Yeah, I just feel really blessed to be in this position where I can give the people that I love things that I feel like they're actually really gonna like and use and enjoy. Anyways, if you liked this video, please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And if you could like this video and comment down below something that you enjoyed about this video, that would mean the world to me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.